A Richmond towing company facing 16 charges of car theft, accused of overcharging, illegally towing, and even stealing cars. Tonight we're hearing from residents who say they fell victim to this company's crimes. And 8 News reporter Roland Wilson joining us live in the Digital Center with where this investigation stands. Roland, good evening. Good evening, Heather. Eric, police say this has been happening since at least the summer of 2020. This after an investigation launched in December of last year found the owner of No Limit Towing and Recovery would tow cars from private lots and in some cases overcharge residents or steal and demolish their cars. Now, multiple residents tell me this news is sickening. Richmond police broke their way into No Limit Towing Company this morning. This after an almost year-long investigation found that the business owned by Cheryl Crawley allegedly towed cars illegally and overcharged residents. Rochelle Smith says she was one of many who were overcharged at her apartment complex. There was a couple who lived here. Um, they had two vehicles. They had to be like $600 for two cars. And for one car, it was like $300. Or, I mean, everybody in the building was heated. When police first learned about this, they believed they were dealing with a civil matter. After receiving numerous reports of theft and overcharging dating back to the summer of 2020, Chief Rick Edwards says they quickly realized there was much more going on here. We found that this crossed the border into a criminal territory where we could take actions. The average initial towing fees shouldn't be more than $135. Police say no limit towing charged residents hundreds more. In some cases, the cars were demolished or sold. Crawley is now wanted for 16 felony indictments for grand larceny. Today, officers could be seen carrying boxes of records and additional evidence from the business located off of Richmond Highway. Officers share that Crawley owns multiple businesses but did not share how many. As far as next steps, we will analyze those cars, see who they see who they come back to and notify the rightful owners. Smith says what the company did was wrong and she hopes she is rightfully punished. When you're taking advantage of us out here and we scrambling just to make ends meet with everything that's been going on, like you should be ashamed of yourself. Now Richmond police says they are in negotiations with Crawley's friends and family and believe she will turn herself in. Now at last checked, that hasn't happened yet. The issue of towing companies overcharging residents is something police believe is a, is a bigger issue rather across multiple companies. However, no word yet on which companies those may be. Now if you feel you've been overcharged or a victim of car theft by a towing company, we'll have that contact information for you on our website at WRIC.com. In the Digital Center, Roland Wilson, 8 News.